What's good, guys? Welcome back. Episode 7 of Windbreaker. I am flipping excited for this. Um, it's gonna be the fight with Sakura and the vice captain of the other school. And just, we've seen some wicked fights so far. And I'm just completely confused as to who they're gonna have win and lose the next fights and stuff like that, how that's gonna go. I can't imagine a vice captain losing at this point, but that would mean Sakura would lose, but like, is that what's gonna happen? Like, I just, we're gonna find out in this episode. It's called Fight to Win. So I don't know, maybe it'll be a tie. I don't know. Let's get into it. Uh, I'm very excited, very, very excited. Backstory? Tsuki. Was that a relative? I'm only, like, I noticed the black hair, so, like, was that a relative? Huh. Y'all need to shut up, for real. <laughs> Let's be real. Sakura to get messed up. Mm. I don't want him to get murked though on stage in front of everybody. I don't want it. Dude feels lethal. He feels lethal. <laughs> Guys, I'm so nervous. You don't understand. I, you know how I love to predict things and play detective. I can't do it. I feel vulnerable. <laughs> I don't know what's going to happen. <laughs> Maybe Sakura's going to get like a huge beat down, but he might get the MC treatment where he like comes out on top in the end. <sighs> so nervous. <laughs> Especially with him watching his, like, rival. Y'all. Yeah. Oh, no, he got, bro. He got the arm dangle set. He got them set. It's over. <laughs> it's over, bro. He got those tight sandals. And he got the arm dangle shit, though. No, stop playing. Get out of here. <laughs> oh. <gasps> oh. Oh. Yo, his alert levels. Yo, Sakura just became <laughs> that one interaction. Sakura became very aware of the opponent he's fighting. <laughs> oh, he's like a grappler. Like he's like a. Yo, he. Mm. He's like trying to tackle and things. Like he's he's not really trying to like fist fight per se. He's trying to overpower. Uh, yeah, no shit. Well, I would have loved to see him fight this guy. You have to admit that would have been very interesting. The way of seeing how he fights, he's quick and he's trying to like grab and stuff like that. But this guy does a lot of like evasion te like techniques. That would have been interesting. Like, so many spots you have to watch out in case he gets you, like... His legs. Uh, ooh, no, that would have been death, guys. What? That would have actually been death. He got them wooden-ass things that, like, huh? Like, why are you trying to commit murder? Bro, he's hella irritated. That's not even the only thing irritating him right now. Dude, 
too strong with them kickbacks. Oh! Oh! oh my god, do you see what I said? Do you see what I said? This still doesn't mean Sakura's gonna lose. But I knew there was no way we're not gonna see this guy get some in. Like, there's no way. Now, he's the MC. That's not how it works. They should be, but they're not. <laughs> That's a bar. <laughs> Don't... Uh oh. He used to be alone, but. Ooh! He bringing out the injured, um, injured animal. Like, you know when an animal, like, has to, like, fight to death type shit? Like, that's what he's bringing out right now. Like. Like, I'm weakened, but I might be more savage now type shit. Give me them crazy eyes. <laughs> them strong kicks. He's on survival mode, baby. <laughs> Yo, windbreaker. <laughs> Dude got winded. Wait, not you talking for everyone here, huh? You you discard them like trash as soon as they prove otherwise. What? Now he's an MC. <laughs> Sorry, but it's the truth. It's not how it works. I'm telling you, I'm telling you, bro. <laughs> You're chasing around middle school kids is crazy. But does he though? Cause I was saying, maybe he, maybe he will need. This MC will need to come back and Oh Oh shit okay Oh shit wait 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 now he's triggered that his people were chasing a middle school kid. He's about to fight them. Yo! <laughs> Yo, they should have they should have started track star out of there, bro. Seeing this guy walk up to you, no. He's like, oh, that's what happened that day? Give me a second. But you said they're not part of your gang no more, so. I fit in was on our turf for no reason. Ooh. Oh, this is really interesting to me. I'm kind of obsessed with this development because we partially felt like he wouldn't give a crap. Like why he was called bully just now by Sakura. We kind of felt like he wouldn't care. Like sure, she, middle school kid, I like, don't care. You're on my turf. That's what we thought. But dude's actually triggered. He's like, y'all were chasing a middle school kid that was on our turf. And he's mad about that. He actually does not F with that. <laughs> Interesting. Yo, he makes sure to take them coats, bro. <laughs> he makes sure to take them coats. <sighs> Yo, these kids are not okay. <laughs> Yo, yo, kid, them, them kids in anime, though, they're never okay. They're not okay. None of them are okay, bro. <laughs> we just casually be watching ish of a bunch of not okay teenagers, bro. <laughs> oh, he's fighting them before he's in the gang. Oh, he looks really cute here. And he's like, I just beat your guys, though, like. Oh, he just joined them. He wasn't the leader yet. His hair down is really cute. 
Wait, I love it. I love it with his hair down. It's so cute. Little mullet look there. It's really adorable on him. <laughs> Alright, so it was like a little bit more wholesome before, I guess. Who was the leader at the time? I guess he defeated the leader, is that it? I know your voice. I know that voice. It's not coming to me right now. And did this become too, like, the main thing? Okay, so when did you guys lose the light in your eyes is what I want to know. Like, who's the dude that was on the floor? Does he not feel that way, actually, I guess? Is that... It's not fun at all. What did he expect? What do you mean it's not fun? Like, what did he expect? So I guess it's not fun being strong alone, is what he means. Wait, he was so cute! <laughs> Don't tell me you beat everybody up. Uh huh, that's where it started. He's like, you lost? So you can't be here. That doesn't make sense. You need them to be as strong as you. Then you have to train them to be as strong as you. You don't just get rid of them because they're not as strong as you yet. What? <laughs> Dude. That's where the we don't accept that you lose started. What, sir? Mental problems. So he's the one that like ruined the gang, bro. He actually is the one that ruined the game, but it rubbed off on Kame. Look, he lost the light in his eyes. Oh, he crazy. He crazy, crazy. That's what I'm saying. That won't make them stronger. This guy has so many mental problems, bro. Okay, now how did that rub off on you? I guess hanging around him so long, it rubbed off on you? And you started to believe what he preaches? Why are they doing this to me? Do you see what they just did here? Come on, what am, what am I supposed to do with this information? What am I supposed to do with this information, y'all? Hmm? <laughs> what am I supposed to do? <laughs> what am I supposed to do with this information? <laughs> Yo, do you see the info drop we just got? He wanted to protect dudes like energy by doing all the harsh-ish. But it seems like even to this day, he's kind of believing what he does. Like, it seems like that's really who he is now. And I guess this version got buried. Like, I don't feel like he's putting on a front right now. I feel like he may have actually become what he was doing. You know what I'm saying? Oh my God. Look at his face when he said that. He's smiling with the guys. Yo, he just wanted to protect him. I would get covered in mud. Oh my god! Ah, oh, look at him, brain. Stop. Until the day. It hasn't shown yet. There's still no light in his eyes. Stop. Do you see what they just did here? Do you see the shit they just did, bro? That backstory did not have to be like that. Are you kidding me? Oh my gosh. Bro. <laughs> I don't know what to do. <laughs> You're not being serious. I... Is he trying to make it look like he wants to do this? But he actually really doesn't care to be doing this. 
Even like beating up the other guys, did he care to do that at all? Damn. Hey, yo! <laughs> okay, I'm sorry, that backstory did a lot for him. <laughs> I like, yo, okay, hold on a minute. <laughs> That backstory did a lot for him as a character. Like, I like. <laughs> it's sad, but I'm just now. I'm looking very optimistically. I'm just looking forward to him, like seeing the light and being free. Cause he's not free. He's trained like as heck right now. And I just look forward to a lot of members joining Finn. Can we just say that? Okay, that's what I want. <laughs> a lot of members to join Finn. You sound like wood. <laughs> okay. They're really just preparing us. Hideo. What is concussion? <laughs> what is blood force trauma in the head? That's what this guy's saying, bro. <laughs> Fatality? What? <laughs> All right, y'all, listen. They be bringing these really sweet backstories for these vicious gang fighters. <laughs> That's all I gotta say. Seeing Togami, right, in the past, I love his past version. He is adorable and soft and he's just so cute. What? I, I love, I absolutely love. And then he became this new version of himself, which is like now, guys, from what I understand, from what I understand, what is he like when no one else is around? It's starting to make me think or picture that when no one else is around, lets his hair out, shakes it up, and just his expression softens, takes off his glasses, and he's himself. Maybe it was like that one time. Like, it makes me think that that's, like, it's a whole other way to look at it. Like, when we saw him show up at first, we're just like, oh my god, this dude is disturbed. He is a villain. It was just really, like, he gave really, like, messed up vibes. After that backstory, just like, do you need a hug? Like, do you need a hug? And for all you know, he may have been doing this long enough to the point where he himself is also kind of, like, become that character he created so maybe now he doesn't let his hair out and become how he used to be when he's by himself maybe now he's just really 24 7 this version of himself which is also really sad and that, that just makes me really want to bring that other guy out really badly and i know we'll do it they don't give a shit like this just for us to not get that are you kidding me <laughs> um so i really 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 look forward to that um but I do want to know. I want to know if he's really kind of become that person or even as we speak, he is very, he is very much putting on a front, even as we speak right now. That's what I want to know, because that's a difference. There's a difference between having brainwashed yourself enough to truly believe a version of yourself versus actually having to act, mask, like 24-7, like actively as we speak. I'm actively acting. There is a difference there, and I really want to know what it was finally. Also, <clears throat> for me, <clears throat> dream guest on my podcast. That's how I just sounded, bro. For me, I feel like we can look back at everything that just happened really differently. I might be wrong, but guys, every single instance a member of their team lost, why was he getting riled up now? Each time, did he actually feel bad for each member that lost? I'm gonna have to toss you. Each person that was in their group, I'm gonna have to toss you. I'm gonna have to toss you. Before, I saw it as him being all like, scum, and then like, get this dude out of here. But it's like, he has said, I'll be in charge of the skinning. Like the, so each person that lost on that stage, and like, even when uh, they were in the tunnel, each time 
it's just it's just a new way to look at it when he was sitting there and seeing each of his members lose in front of mind you <laughs> right in front of a uh, captain over here each time it was just someone that he'd have to rip jacket off of you know what i mean it's a new way to look at it potentially it's possible that that could have been what was going on in his head unlike what we thought initially and even as he's fighting sakura right now it's like I have to display strength to keep that sun shining and I will do what it takes to not lose to you right now. But it just means that this fight, he wants to protect that sun really badly, but he's not actually happy that this is the way he has to protect it. You can tell he's not actually happy that the captain is and has become the way that he has has the views that he has he's not happy with it so it's like it's one thing to completely dedicate yourself to supporting someone and being like no matter what it is you want i want to support that but to, from what i'm understanding Togami doesn't really want to support um his views the captain's views he doesn't really want to support the captain's views in fact he would rather the captain change his views but at the end of the day he views him as the sun and he's like, whichever way that sun has to shine, I want to protect that. I want to protect the shine. I'm not really protecting his views. And that's what's going to make the difference in this fight here. Like Togame is throwing punches. He's fighting, fighting Sakura. But not by the strength of views. Just by the strength of the fact that he wants to protect a sun that he doesn't even believe in. He believes in the good part that the sun can shine but he doesn't believe in the foundation of the sun like it's a broken thing so it's like this is why like even sakura's like bro you're not even really punching me now i guess like at first it seems like he was going at it but sakura is sensing now that it's dragging on and the dude is not actually trying to scrap no more <laughs> that's what it seems like sakura has picked up on in the fight because at the start of it it really looked like dude was trying to fight like like that, those are some serious like he's really with it but it seems like it's dragged. He just had to go punch those other two guys. Now, we don't even know how he really felt about doing that. Taking off the jackets. He said he would be the one to do it. So he did it. But now, it's almost like, is he mentally exhausted? Like, when he came back on the stage, he's like, let's continue where we left off. But, like, dude, you you tired. <laughs> What's wrong with you? Like, there's nothing wrong. Like, you're not packing a punch like you were before. I'm sorry. I just love... You, you know a show is good and really reaction worthy when it gets me flipping running my mouth like this. <laughs> This is one of my favorite parts about watching stuff, being able to like talk about it. It's really fun for me um, and to think deeply about the characters and their psyche and, you know, their actions. And ooh, this was giving me something to diagnose for sure. <laughs> this was definitely giving me something to decipher and break down. Um, but yeah, let me know what you guys think if you made it this far. Let me know what you guys think in the comments about what I just said. No spoilers, though, please. Let's not ruin the fun. But yeah, I'd love to know what your thoughts are on like what I've kind of shared and maybe if you guys have different ideas about that but very interesting very very interesting and Togami you you found a little spot in my heart like I'm I'm, I'm trying I'm trying to see you healed I'm trying to see you healed for real okay that's all ending here thank you so much for watching leave your thoughts down below no spoilers and I'll see you guys in my next video so thank you and bye